Hi, in this playlist I'll give you a complete tutorial on controller area network that is CAN. So before entering into the CAN tutorial, you have to understand in what classifies that you need to learn CAN and you need to work with CAN. Yes, it's very simple just if you understand. Yeah. So before entering into the CAN, you just uh, you have to be aware where the CAN exactly use. Yeah. Uh, although CAN is a protocol, CAN is a communication protocol. So how it will works how it will uh, looks so even because many have a good knowledge on the theoretical part but in practically if you ask how the can will be the answer will be silent yes the most of the cases so here i have given so can in hill can in the hardware in the loop yeah so here we have ecu then pass apply virtual plant which makes the complete hill environment then can case which is connected to either side of the pc yeah so here although we are uh, having the ecu pass up and uh, virtual plant which makes a hill but we, have, we are going to focus only on the can case that is connected a to both end of the pc yeah so this is the hill environment and this is the normal environment that is you can consider as either open loop system or closed loop system where the can case have been used yeah so here the classification that have been given to under to for a better understanding and make you to so for understand properly on in what basis you have to work and in what basis you should learn yeah first you should learn the protocol so protocol means what is the bit rate what is the baud rate and in what speed the can the kpbs or mpbs on what speed it transmits and uh, what are the error nodes what are the error frames uh, how it behaves when it communicates with multi nodes how it behaves when it's coming with the single nodes then what are, what are the fault confinements then uh, what are the frame then what are the crc error what is stuff, stuff error what is the bit error so all these what is the standard can what is the extended can all these things will come under the protocols protocol is nothing but the set of rules so under these rules all these uh, topics have been covered so that uh, once you understand this one then it would be very easy for you in the work but being frank i'm telling whenever you are working in the can environment or can network so you are, you are not a bit uh, transparently understand the theoretical part which have been mapped with the practical so that you have to go in deep to observe and to know what theoretical uh, part have been embed with the practical way that you have to analyze and you have to map then you should figure out the uh, concept then only you can uh, you know you can just uh, take some better actions than what you are doing now if you are if you are doing without uh, you know without aware of the protocol then next is hardware this is another big ocean that uh, not everyone is aware that uh, but uh, i recommend that you should everyone should or, uh, should be aware on uh, before working with the can environment so here hardware in the sense the first part i can tell you is how the the can hardware behaves internally what are the components presence how the can uh, just uh, it, it manipulates the signal how it conditioning the signal uh, how the analog signal is converting to digital how the noise have been removed what are the components have been used for that and how the can protocol that is uh, how this what's uh, what hardware which uh, supports the protocol uh, that is uh, which supports the rules which obey as per priorities as for the arbitrate everything so what are the components have been used for and once you are configure the hardware with the software how the driver needs to be configured everything you should be aware in the hardware then software or tool that is tool i can literally indicate that tool is nothing but the can laser or cano or any vector tools uh, like even d space simulator you are using that is also a vector tool so th these are all the tools that uh, can gives as a generic tool it is not a oem specific that all oem oem in the sense um, you know audi maruti benz they all can use the the generic way it's not a particular customer specific so these tools uh, knowledge have also you should be aware that how to you know how to create a database how to create uh, how to include a signals in the block how to send a signal how to send a signal in a programming way how to s analyze the trace how to use a graphic window and what are the 
other even in the uh, when you are connecting the hardware how to configure your uh, tool with the uh, hardware and software the, everything you have to understand before you going into the you know going into deep into the work so here in this tutorial i just to give you the explanation on hardware components it's a very brief explanation in the sense you can uh, you can in an overview you can understand what all vector devices contains then uh, in our next tutorial i'll give you the details on the protocol then we will uh, go for the tool at the last okay so here we go the hardware yeah as you know again the same slide have been repeated so as you can consider this is a hardware in the loop then can case have been given here with the two ends as a pc so here i am just focusing only the can case that you have can you can consider this is a hardware the vector hardware whatever it may be which uh, supports for the can manipulation there is a can signals manipulations so i'm just uh, splitting these the wires this is another wire it's a can case so wires from ecu to pc then another one is wires from pc to ecu then the the hero is can case hardware that he is a guy he is a protocol he obeys all the rules and regulations that have been written for the can and uh, he manipulates as per that so here we have the very brief explanation on uh, can hardware see i'm just zoom in this can case so it looks like this and i'm just opening the outer case see the inner it will be like this so this here this part you can easily understand see this is a can bus this end is from ecu and this end is to cpu okay there is a computer so here from ecu uh the, from can uh, ecu have been connected the can bus can bus is nothing but the wire again so the wire has been the piece of wire has been connected uh to the can bus so the first one is the interface that is a bus interface so the bu bus interface is is uh, generally in in uh, general term the interface is just to you know uh, convert something like if you want to, if you are watching your some some movies in your pc or in your laptop mm -hmm. the interface is nothing but the lcd or uh, led so it just converts the digital signal into analog signal that the interface acts is a uh, led or lcd the same way the converter here we have put into like analog to digital converter because the bus signal will be the analog but once you you cannot able to manipulate the analog signal with high accuracy for that you are using the analog to digital converter as a bus interface then obviously whenever you convert something there will be the noise there will be some disturbance or harmonics will be there so that you have to filter for that here we have acceptance filtering yeah after filtering it will go to receive buffers so yes uh, can have uh tendency to receive m m as many messages but not all the messages can be put at the same time so for that we are using buffers so the buffer will queue the messages if there is any priority message or uh, the arbitration works then the receive buffers here it will uh, manipulate it will queue it will change a queue order to the receive buffers then it will send to the host interface that is called pc that is a personal computer or rtpc real time personal computer are being used so here when the when the receive buffers comes then the rx will be the rx count will be more again if you want to send anything again from the cpu it will, it will send in the reverse order so again here also host interface it will change again so before it changing the from the receive buffer to the pc it will change again digital to analog signal so in the same way the reverse uh, process have been happen so host interface from the host interface the transmit buffer will occur so once the transmit buffer reaches here will uh, the count will happen one send so, then uh, it will it will send to the can protocol that is controller in this controller again it will uh, it will manipulate so the arbitration or it will it will do all the stuff then uh, it will send to the can bus that is to the ecu so in this way it is actually it is, it is a very simple mechanism that I have been uh, let you know uh, still uh, there will be full controller mode that we can be discussed in our another tutorials so here the one thing that is unnoticed is the status or control registers 
yeah so generally registers and uh, you know register it's it's related to the memory that what are the memory related contents have been manipulated and uh, can be accommodate in the status control registers it 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 acts like a temporary register and it's not a permanent one so whenever you want to remove and you want to erase you can do and you can make the can controller as a fresh ever so the 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 main advantage of this can controller is there will be very uh, very very rare chance of getting damaged so it's it's very it's uh, it's really tightly packed and uh, the resistance level as a 120 ohm resistance and uh, the the protection shield have been given uh, in order to avoid uh, any damage so if you if you're trying to give a more voltage also the can never accept so that much protection have been given so uh, when you compare to the some other uh, communication protocol like ethernet or some other uh, they may destroy easily but can never so these are all some uh, advantages of the can you know can network that the that the disadvantage and the properties can be looked upon the protocol division but in this can hardware i am just winding up and in the next tutorial i'll continue with the can protocol uh, and parallelly i'll just give you the tutorials on uh, you know tools like analyzer or Keno. so keep on update will uh, update you often once we update the videos where we catch in next tutorial